Welcome in to another Musings from the Mind of tutorial where we're going to look at making a camera uh, track an object without having to use a curve uh, or a constraint and we can kind of create a turntable effect and then from that edit it to where we get some different uh, smooth transitions. So with that let's do file uh, new general I'm going to hit 1 on my number pad to go to the front view. I'm going to delete the default cube. Shift A and we're going to add a mesh Suzanne. I'm going to hit Control Alt 0 to bring my camera to the front. I'm going to do Shift A and I'm going to add an empty cube. Now then I'm going to select the camera. Then I'm going to select the cube. Control P and parent my camera to the cube. Now at frame 0 I'm going to select the empty. I'm going to uh, rotate Z negative 90. And you see it brings the camera around to the side view. I lock rotation and scale. I'm going to go over here to 180. And I'm going to rotate Z 180. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to rotate Z 360. So it's RZ 360, enter. I'm going to hit I, I, lock, rotate, and scale. I'm going to jump over here into, I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to jump over here into uh, visibility, no camera, viewport display. And I'm going to up this pass part out a little bit just so it's clear what's in the view of the camera. Now then what I can do is under the object properties of the camera, under motion paths I can click calculate I've also added this to my quick menu so it's Q uh, right here calculate I'm gonna hit OK and then I want to hit uh, I'm gonna change the end of my to 180 and then when I hit space you can see I now have this path that has been built uh, without me having to build any con curves or constraints now what I can do is say if I get right about here and I want to zoom in. I'm going to select my cube. I'm going to hit scale and come in. I'm going to keyframe available. I'm going to go around maybe to here. Uh, with my cube still selected, I'm going to hit R wide, rotate on the Y. And I'm going to keyframe uh, available again. Hit zero to make sure we're in our camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to do this. I got to pick the camera again. Uh, go back to my quick menu, update path, or over here under uh, object properties, update path. So Q, update path. And now you can see it has updated the curve that it is following. And there's a quick way to create a turntable effect and then modify uh, the path from there without having to create a path or a constraint. I hope that was helpful. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.